2017 Genesis G83.8 AWD. In the beginning, Carl Benz created the patent motor wagon, and the car was born, at least that's the first verse in the good book according to Mercedes-Benz. Two years ago, Hyundai announced its own creation story, assigning the Genesis name to a new line of luxury cars that would be sold by Hyundai dealers. Rid of both the Hyundai nameplate and that brand's everyday affordability emphasis, Genesis aims to be a fresh alternative to the 100-year-old premium labels. Born in 2009 as the Hyundai Genesis and refurbished for the 2015 model year, the G80 sedan reviewed here is the first shot in the Genesis brand's Savo. Add to that the larger and all-new G90 flagship sedan and at least four more models to arrive by 2020. The Genesis mission is invading the money zone where Acura, Audi, BMW, Cadillac, Infiniti, Jaguar, Lexus, Lincoln, Mercedes-Benz, and Volvo earn lucrative returns on their parent company's investments. Premium and Ultimate The Genesis G83.8 liter sedan starts at $42,350, rising to $53,800 when equipped with three of the four available upgrades, as was our test vehicle. An all-wheel drive system called Track cost $2,500. A premium package containing a two-panel sunroof, upgraded audio, front seat ventilation, an LCD instrument cluster, parking sensors, a rear-view camera, fog lamps, and rear window shades hiked the price by $4,750. Finally, the ultimate package bringing leather seats, extra driver's seat adjustments, wood and metal trim, a color head-up display, a 9.2-inch infotainment touchscreen, yet another sound system upgrade, a power-operated trunk lid, and dual-mode front vent controls added another $4,200 to our total. While many luxury brand incumbents built their reputations on strong performance credentials, the G80 takes a more cordial path. Every G80 rolls on all-season tires. While there is a potent 5.0-liter V8 alternative to the 311-horsepower 3.8-liter V6, this Genesis doesn't have an aggressive bone in its attractively sculpted body. Ride motions are smooth and settled, as if every pavement fissure is filled with whipped cream. Respecting the hushed conversations anticipated in this luxury setting, cabin noise is a low 72 decibels during full bulk acceleration and 66 decibels during 70 mph cruising. Control efforts are low to guarantee that commuting is never a chore. Back of the Grid At the test track, the G80 landed toward the back of the performance grid. While most base engine, all-wheel drive premium sedans hustle from rest to 60 miles per hour in the low 5-second range, the G80 needed 6.6 .6 seconds to reach that velocity. Similarly, quarter-mile runs in the low to mid-14s with a trap speed around 100 miles per hour are typical of this class, versus the 15.0 seconds at 96 miles per hour achieved by the G80. That said, this Genesis did add a notch to its holster by matching the Mercedes-Benz E300 Formatics 15.0 second quarter mile time and by topping the four-cylinder Benz's 92 mile per hour trap speed by a significant 4 miles per hour. Don't blame the G80's 3.8-liter V6 for the leisurely acceleration. This engine's short stroke, variable intake and exhaust valve timing, and high compression ratio, 11.5 to 1, help squeeze adequate power from not so much displacement. The engine revs willingly to 6,500 revolutions per minute, delivering 311 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute. A variable intake manifold enhances flexibility while lifting the torque curve to a peak of 293 pounds to foot at 5,000 revolutions per minute. That's roughly comparable to the BMW 535i's 3.0-liter turbocharged six-cylinder, with 300 horses at 6,000 revolutions per minute and 300 pounds to foot of torque at 1,300 revolutions per minute. And while most sedans in this class demand a steady diet of premium gas, the G80's engine is happy with regular. 
That's significant because we measured only 17 miles per gallon overall in our testing, 8 miles per gallon less than we logged in the E300. This leaves the weight side of the G80's power to weight equation as the performance robbing suspect. The 4,503 pound curb weight we measured is hundreds of pounds heavier than alternatives such as the Cadillac CTS 2.0T and the Jaguar XF 3.0, both equipped with all wheel drive. While aluminum body parts now are common, this Genesis has an all steel body. The extra mass combined with 18-inch Michelin Primacy tires suitable for year-round use stretches the 70 to 0 mile per hour stopping distance to 188 feet, versus a low of 155 feet in this class, and limits cornering grip to 0.82 grams, compared with its key competitors 0.84 to 0.90 grams. G80 shoppers who reside in the southern half of the US should definitely skip to the all-wheel drive, a move that shaves a claim 163 pounds and lowers the price by $2,500. The track system also penalizes EPA combined mileage by 3 miles per gallon. However, in our highway fuel economy test, where mass doesn't have the same negative effects on gas mileage, the G80 achieved 28 miles per gallon. 3 miles per gallon better than its 25 mile per gallon EPA highway rating. Fine design. So the G80 is clearly not a sports sedan, but it does excel in other areas. While the exterior design borders on generic, the combination of a long hood and a setback cabin yields a striking profile. Call it a coincidence. But the Audi-like grille frame and the Bentley S-Wing badge are interesting touches considering that chief designer Luke Donkerwalk worked for both of those marks before joining Genesis last November. It gets better inside. The panoramic sunroof included in the premium package covers most of the ceiling, brightening the interior when desired and stacking one panel atop the other when fresh air is called for. A tall wind blocker is as effective as it is unattractive, but at least you see little of that device inside the cabin. Panel fit and finish are appropriate for this $50,000 class, and the trim materials included with the ultimate package are top shelf. The open grain wood with matte finished metal accents would be right at home in Beverly Hills. The 12-way adjustable front buckets skinned with perforated and French stitched leather are not only supremely comfortable, their side bolsters are firm enough to support significantly more lateral G's than the G80 currently is capable of generating. One unexpected pleasure is the use of genuine physical knobs for cabin temperature, audio volume and tuning, and the infotainment system's rotary controller. Elegantly sized and ribbed for easy grip, these knobs provide a nice break from today's button farms and touchscreens. But not a total escape, there's a 9.2-inch touchscreen included in the G80's premium package, and there are buttons galore in this lavishly equipped interior. To match major competitors with modern safety features, the G80 comes standard with automatic high-beam headlamps, automated emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, capable of stopping the car in traffic, blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, and lane keeping assist. Paying special attention to that last feature, we found it does an excellent job of identifying lane markers and relieving your hands of steering duty for 10 to 12 seconds before a warning advisory is issued. Huge rear doors usher two or three passengers aboard and back. Outboard positions verge on limo seats at the expense of the, hopefully occasional and or small, middle occupant who must ride on a high, hard cushion. Lowering the center armrest provides access to a rectangular pass-through to the 15 cubic foot trunk. While folding back rests would enhance the G80's versatility, Genesis skipped that feature. Considering that this G80 is an upcycled Hyundai, it's a modest step toward what this brand aspires to achieve. This first edition Genesis scores well in comfort and convenience, but drivers accustomed to sparkling performance will be disappointed. Responding swiftly to market needs is what made the Hyundai Motor Group a force to be reckoned with, and Genesis already is considering how to integrate a performance-oriented sub-brand into its products. That means there's probably a comprehensively upgraded G80 waiting in the wings, and no chance of exodus following Genesis in this playbook.